What's going on? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. So, basically, this is um, from September 5th games. Um, we had the storm, of course, going against New York again. And it wasn't much different from when um, New York played them in Seattle. They were in New York this time, and Seattle lost the same way. I mean, New York's supporting cast is too good. If your supporting cast or your bench players don't nullify or equal their output on both ends of the floor, offensive rebounds, hustle points, scoring down low, um, freeing up Inescu and Brianna to do what they want to do, you're going to lose the game. Now, the Seattle Storm did something interesting, and I want to see if they um do this again. Um, I love when they had Gabby Williams running the point. Um, Gabby Williams at the point would be great to me because she can create her own shot and she can create for others. Um, If you saw her in the Olympic Games, that's what she was strong at. Skylar was playing the off guard. So was Jewel Lloyd. So you basically had two off guards. You had two forwards and um you had a center. So, I mean, it was good to see um, how they were playing. They were leading at one point, and then that's when New York's second half turned on the defense, clamped down on them. Brianna Stewart took over down the stretch. Um, NECA, I love NECA Gumake, but um, I think she's long in the tooth, and she's not the same as she used to be. So Brianna was taking advantage of that. Um, Sabrina was getting to the next level, hitting the floater. Or she would hit the three. Um, Feebich didn't really score like that. But Feebich defense and making the extra pass being the stopgap to continuously move the ball around really helped um, New York continue to get better. Horston is not happy with Seattle. I think that she doesn't rock with them anymore. Um, I think she's pissed off that she has to come off the bench. I felt like she should have never gone to the bench. She wasn't the problem why they weren't winning. They weren't winning because Jewel Lloyd and Skyler and them were not stepping up in the clutch. Um, and for them to to single her out, she she kind of you kind of saw she was frustrated. Um, she tried to throw a pass to Mercedes Russell. It it was a bad pass instead of her just scoring. Mercedes was waiting for her to go score. She just threw it to her, and Mercedes was kind of upset and. She kind of gave an attitude to um, Noel Quinn. Rightfully so. Um, this is a girl who was with y'all, who helped y'all get on a win streak. Then as soon as y'all have some tough games, you guys try to throw her under the bus and put her on the bench. So I didn't like the way they treated Jordan Hoister. Um, I hope um, they can mend the relationship at the end of the season. But if she could go somewhere, shoot, let her come to Chicago because <laughs> we could use her on that wing to help um, Mikayla out. Um, and she has a lot of energy, and she's tough. Like, she's real tough. So, you know, that's um, that's something to look out for. The Seattle Storm in the playoffs, I mean, their bench isn't – they don't use their bench that much, and when they do, they don't really get that much production – I thought they would go with Vivians. I didn't see Vivians that much this game. Um, and I also didn't see others. Um, I think they ought to start trying to play Nika Mule. Um, I would give her some reps because she might come up big for you in the playoffs. You might need that extra person on the perimeter to help. Um, Jewel Lloyd. <laughs> Jewel Lloyd's a legend. First ballot Hall of Famer. But she's just she just hasn't been playing good. Um, she's having a shooting slump. And I think if she can get her shooting back, it's like with the Connecticut Sun and Dewana Bonner. If Dewana Bonner isn't really going off, the Sun really don't have a chance. And I mean, unless DeJanae just has an outer body experience and she just scores like crazy. But I don't I don't really see um, the Storm making it to the chip this year. I think next year they'll be there. I think they'll be a lot better next year. They need an offseason another year with each other. Um, but tip your hats off to New York. Brianna Stewart is showing, man, that she's awesome. Man, she's just she's to me she's the second best player in the world, um, behind Asia. Um, 
you know, and she just continues to show how great she is getting the ball to Sabrina. Now, this is who really done well is JJ. JJ decided not to settle for them damn threes and take it to the post against Ezzy, Magbeger, and against Aneka. She dominated, and that's what they're going to need JJ to do. JJ, can you can shoot them threes. You can shoot the mid-range. You can put the ball on the floor. That's cool and all, but you got to take over the paint. If you don't take over the paint, y'all going to be in trouble. Y'all not going to win. Because I can settle for J.J. only putting up four, maybe six points. But if J.J. give you 15 to 18 boards, they're going to be trouble. Um, Lainey Hamilton is awesome. Like, she's one of the best players. Her, Thornton, um, Sabali. Sabali got hurt. She got hit in the stomach. <laughs> she got hit in the stomach and everything. So she was kind of sore, you know. Um it was from a NECA going to score. Kind of hurt a little bit. But, um, you know, they'll, they'll get better. Um, the storm will be good, but I don't, I don't think the storm will go that far. You know, I really don't think the storm will go that far. You know, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. You know, we'll see. You know, I think I think New York, like um Wody Mack would say, New York going all the way this year. They could. You be and it's gonna be because of their supporting cast. They have a deep team. Their tenth and eleven person off the bench could beat the sixth person on the other bench, on the other team. So that's that's something they have to worry about. You know, that's something they have to worry about. That's something they have to look for. That's something they have to work on. The Seattle Storm don't use their bench enough for me. And, and Noel Quinn kind of stays with her lineups too long. She, You have to shake up your lineups. If, 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 if somebody isn't doing well from a scoring aspect, you know, we, we, you, you got to figure out who do you want as the leading scorer on this team. Like, who do you need? Gabby went off in this game. She had about 19, I think, or 20. She went off, but Skylar was on and off. Jewel was on and off. NECA was okay. I mean, you got to figure out who you want to make the focal point of the offense. Is it Skylar or is it Jewel? Because Skylar, she's been balling, but she also had them games where she will shoot the team out the game. Um, you know, and she's had trouble, but defensively, she's very good. I love her defense. I love how she um plays. Um, you know, so we'll see. But New York played a great game. Love what they did. Brianna closed down the stretch. You know, Laney Hamilton earlier the supporting cast for the Liberty was balling, and um the stars were kind of just dragging on, and then fourth quarter came. Brianna and Sabrina are probably the best duo damn near in the league. Like, two of the best. And they played a great game. Now, um, the Mystics against Phoenix. Um, Phoenix is so up and down. Um, like I said, I thought they would... Um, I thought Phoenix would miss the playoffs. Because I just felt like they just weren't looking good. But now that um, Angel Reese is out for the season, um, they may stay where they're at. Um, so I could see Atlanta jumping them if they can. I don't know if they could jump them, but um, at but the Mystics, the Mystics are right there. They're only a game behind the Sky, and they have the tiebreaker on the Sky. I don't know if they got the tiebreaker on Atlanta, but they're only one game behind Atlanta and Chicago. And the Mystics, if the Mystics get in the playoffs, they're going to be dangerous. The Mystics, I have been telling y'all all year, the Mystics are a solid team. They are a solid team. I, I don't understand why people won't um, acknowledge it, why people won't give them their flowers. Like, I believe they're winning in spite of their coach. Ever since they got Sykes on the team, along with... um. And an emergence of Aaliyah Edwards down low, they've been awesome. Um, 
I wish they had Shakira Austin, her fine ass dog. I, listen, I'm shooting my somebody clip this and send it to Shakira Austin. I'm shooting my shot when I see you. You know, I don't care if you six three, six four. I don't give a damn. I'm hollering. <laughs> and that's just facts. I don't care, bro. I am hollering. So, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come in there like Auntie Seth said. Who are you? <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. But um, they're playing great. Sykes has given them an identity. She's running the point now. Ariel Atkins can play her natural position, which is the two. Ariel Atkins has been destroying everybody, just simply destroying everybody. She's too quick outside of Kennedy and Kelsey Mitchell. As far as those those. Those athletic and 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 just just going off the going crazy type of guards that could just give you buckets and damn near unstoppable. She's in that sentence with them. Um, Ariel Atkins is balling. Dotson balling. Stephanie Dotson. It has the best shooting percentage in the league from the three. I think she's damn near at fifty percent. I might have it wrong, but she's in the 40 percentile. She might be 50. The Washington Mystics are the second best shooting team in the league from the three. Like I, I was surprised by it. But you know why they're winning? They're bench. They're bench destroyed tonight. They're bench destroyed. Um, they, they got this one girl. I can't think of her name. Um, she just came from the Mercury. Um, but she balled out. I'm coming off the bench. But I'm Kimbro. Kimbro, number 32, I love Kimbro. Kimbro is an all-utility girl. Like, she does everything. Rebound, pass, shoot, defend. And she hit some big shots. Some big shots. And, and I loved it. I loved it. She hit some real big shots. Um, it was it was great to see. It was great to see her step up to the plate. She did her job. Um, I, I think people at times don't understand how great a bench is supposed to be this bench was going into the second half 23 points 23 points as a whole for the bench against the phoenix five points and they probably ended the game with 30 some points almost 40 bench points um dotson the ability to defend britney griner she gave britney griner problems um they, they were sending the trap to britney griner every chance she tried to get they were putting pressure on her to try to score um britney griner She's she's very skilled, but she has a real low motor. She's been like that since Baylor. I wasn't a fan of hers at Baylor. I felt like she was way too low motored. Um, and at times she disappears. She plays under her size. Like she's six nine, but she plays like she's five nine at times. And to me, that hurts the, the Mercury a lot. It keeps them from being unstoppable. Diana Taurasi need to go to the bench. I've been saying this all season. If she comes off the bench, I think the Mercury would be a lot better. She is in Kalea Copper and um, what's her name? And Natasha Cloud's way. She just is. Celeste Taylor, to me, should be starting. Celeste Taylor brings defense and she can shoot. She's tough. I wish the Sky could have picked her up, but the Sky was, was loaded with a bunch of guards. And if we release the guards, we still would have to pay them the full season. So why get rid of somebody when you could just keep them on the team, still paying them instead of just letting them not be on the team and still paying them? So it makes sense. So Celeste Taylor's done a great job, but she's the only one that's playing defense. Kalea Copper comes out again very sluggish, very hit or miss. I don't know what it is. I think Kalea Copper, and I know people are going to say, HD, your conspiracy doing this. I think Kalia Copper misses Chicago. I think she wants to go back. Now, I may be wrong, but I think she's not feeling Diana Taurasi and them. This is allegedly YouTube. Everything I'm saying is allegedly speculating. Okay, this is speculating. This is just my opinion. Don't strike. Don't strike the video. But I think she really doesn't have fun playing with Diana Taurasi. I just really don't. I think everybody really doesn't like playing with Taurasi. I think Tarasi needs to retire. Well, well, she needs to go to the bench right now. To me, she needs to go to the bench. You know, once she um, you know, once she goes to the bench, 
you know, I think they'll be more effective because they need somebody to come off that bench and just destroy. That's what they need. And they don't have it. They don't have anybody off the bench. Monique Billings, she's okay, but she's more of a um, do everything type of player. So she's not going to really just give you one thing the whole game, you know, and that kind of hurts them. Now, do I think um now do I think that they can um that they can step it up? No, I I think Tarasi needs to come off the bench. Um Sophie Cunningham, she's okay. I think them not having Becca Allen really hurts them. Becca Allen was very good at defense and shooting that three ball. And I think that kind of hurts their offense. Because they really need her to shoot from the three-point line because she's very effective. Um, Mac, Mac comes in. She gives you a little bit. But, I mean, it's okay, but it's not a lot. Um, this team is, they tried, I forgot the other players on their team. But when they come in, they, they're okay. They don't really provide a lot to be desired from. So that's that's the problem with the Phoenix Mercury. The Phoenix Mercury is just an up and down team, and they don't play any defense. Their perimeter defense is terrible. Now their paint defense is very good, but when you're going against a team like the Washington Mystics or the Indiana Fever, they're going to shoot you out the gym. So they match up with the Chicago Sky because the Chicago Sky is mostly a paint based team, and if they would have had Kennedy Carter. Kennedy Carter could have stretched the uh, floor and allowed the bigs to operate. So because they didn't have Kennedy Carter, that's why the Mercury blew him out. You know, so what can you do? Um, I think the Phoenix Mercury coach is a puppet. He only does what Diana tells him to do. I don't like coaches that are puppets because when it gets to a big game, it gets to a situation, they're not going to coach you out of a damn um wet bag in the rain <laughs> like for real they're not gonna they're not gonna help you they're not gonna bring any different insight you need somebody who's not a do boy or do woman who actually listens to what you're saying but can also interject with something from their personal experience or what they see on the floor you know and to me that's that's the issue they have a do boy at the coach and I really believe they, they need a real coach. I think Diana needs to retire after this season and they need to get them a real coach who's going to actually coach and, and build around Kai and um, Natasha Cloud. See if BG is going to come back for next year or is she going to be gone or I would trade BG if you can, if she's not talking about leaving. Like I, w I would rebuild this team around Kai and go from there, bring in some, um, you could bring in free agents, Cause Phoenix got probably the best, <laughs> the best um facility of anybody. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll see um how this season goes. Um, do I think the Mercury could do something in the playoffs? No. I think they'll get one win and then they're going home. Um, so the fever already done took their spot. So We'll see. But um, that's all I got from the games. Um, like I said, Washington, Sykes, and, and Ariel Atkins just went off. Ariel Atkins could finally play the two, which she's great at. Before they had her facilitating and scoring, that's too much of a job to do. So thank you guys for listening, man. That's my recap from the Amazon Prime games on September 5th, which featured um, – the New York Liberty, no, the Seattle Storm playing in New York against the Liberty, Liberty winning that game. And, of course, the Washington Mystics traveling to the Phoenix Mercury, they stole that game from them. After they stole the game from the sky, they came back and stole the game again from the Phoenix Mercury, just blew them out the water. Game wasn't closed. They dominated. So, you know, well, it'll, it'll be all right. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you guys do love what you hear, you can donate to the page. Go into my description box, hitting that link to the cash app. That will donate whatever your hearts desire. And um, you guys can also find me on Zelle. If you got the app 
or you go on the website zell.com you can look at the description box it'll show you how to get to my how to cash at me there and you know you can go from there but while if you don't want to do that you can super chat um or you can leave a super thanks you know so thank you guys for listening man i am out and um deezy <laughs>